model? Yeah. Well, the Libyan model isn't a model that we have at all when we're thinking of North Korea. In Libya, we decimated that country. That country was decimated. There was no deal to keep Gaddafi. The Libyan model that was mentioned was a much different deal. This would be with Kim Jong-un, something where he'd be there, he'd be in his country, he'd be running his country. His country would be very rich. His people are tremendously industrious. If you look at South Korea, this would be really a South Korean model in terms of their industry, in terms of what they do. They're hardworking, incredible people. Uh, but the Libyan model was a much different model. We decimated that country. We never said to Gaddafi, oh, we're going to give you protection. We're going to give you military strength. We're going to give you all of these things. We went in and decimated him. And we did the same thing with Iraq. Now, whether or not we should have, I could tell you I was against it from the beginning, because look what we have right now. We've spent $7 trillion. Can you believe that? $7 trillion in the Middle East, right out the window. You might as well throw the money right out the window. And we've done a lot of infrastructure. We just had airports approved. You saw that. A lot of things are happening. But we spent $7 trillion in the Middle East. And uh, look where we are right now. It's pretty sad. But the, uh, the model, if you look at that model with Gaddafi, that was a total decimation. We went in there to beat him. Now, that model would take place if we don't make a deal, most likely. But if we make a deal, I think Kim Jong-un is going to be very, very happy. I really believe he's going to be very happy. But this is just the opposite. And I think when uh, John Bolton made that statement. He was talking about if we're going to be having a problem, because we cannot let that country have nukes. We just can't do it. So that's the way it meant. It's really just the opposite. Because if you, if you look at, again, you look at Syria, that was a total decimation. Yes, John? Well, what security guarantees are you willing to well, give I'm to willing to do. I'm, we're willing to do a lot, and he's willing to, I think, do a lot also. And I think we'll actually have a good relationship, assuming we have the meeting and assuming something comes of it. Uh, and he'll get protections that will be very strong. Uh, Syria never had protections. Uh, if you look at Syria, if you look at, or if you look anywhere around the Middle East, you look at Iraq, you look at Libya, uh, with Libya, certainly they didn't have protection. They had the exact opposite. Reduce troop that was that was absolute decimation, and that's what we planned to do, and that's what we did. Reduced U.S. troop levels a possibility in South Korea? Well, I, I'm not going to talk about that. Uh, we're going to say that he will have very adequate protection, and we'll see how it all turns out. I think this, the best thing he could ever do is to make a deal. I have a feeling, however, that for various reasons, maybe including trade, because they've never had this problem before. China has never had this problem with us. It could very well be that uh, he's influencing Kim Jong-un. We'll see what happens. Meaning, the president of China, President Xi, could be influencing Kim Jong-un. But we'll see. That's just uh, — look, if you remember, a few weeks ago, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Kim Jong-un went to China to say hello again a second time to President Xi. I think they were dedicating an aircraft carrier paid for largely by the United States. Thank you very much, everybody. All right, thank you.